bakul dada. How how does education uh, study topics become more holistic? 360 degrees, providing different perspectives uh, to same reality. How did they come holistic? Decentralize the damn thing. We need to completely decentralize education. Education should be the curriculum. There's two, and I've said this before, there's two courses that I would say should be mandatory, okay, in all schools, right? And these are the only two courses as far as I'm concerned. Mathematics and your natural language, whatever that natural language is. If it's English, it's English in my part of the world, right? Everything else should be an elective. And the elective classes should be, you know, your typical elective classes, science, music, uh, gym, uh, cooking, food, growing food, gardening, whatever. Just provide as many electives as possible right programming programming would be amazing right provide as many electives as possible however source those courses the people that are going to teach them and how that curriculum is going to be laid out from a local uh, your locality right so for example i live in the west coast of canada right there is no way in canada the education system is based on pro province right but I live in more populated part of the west coast of Canada, right? There are people living in northern BC. Their needs to know how to live in that environment are different than my needs where I need to learn if I'm growing up here to function in this society. The commonality is English and math, right? Mandatory. You need to learn science, but mathematics is a language of science, right? The science should be an elective. Really, science should be an elective. People are, are, are going to know. Like, when you say take science, when they, people take a curriculum and make it science, right? Now, in that course, they're trying to teach biology, chemistry, and physics, right? But biology, chemistry, and physics has multiple other branches as well that are more fine-tuned they go into more detailed stuff right so why not have a course on forestry right that could be your science course but they don't have that if they touch on forestry for example in science class in high school let's say grade 8 9 10 11 really maybe they talk about it for a day but someone in northern bc who loves nature right maybe they want a longer course on forestry right maybe they want a course on mycology right so we need to source out the electives the curriculum for the electives that are offered in school from a lo local community right what does the community think should be a legitimate elective that children should be able to take right we have to decentralize it. I know it's a huge task. I know it's a huge task, really. I appreciate this, but that's the end goal because what kids, people need to learn in one part of the world could be completely different than what they need to learn on the other part of the world. And the reason, by the way, mathematics and English or natural language should be the mandatory courses is because those are the core those are the two things they're languages that we use to communicate ideas so you need to be able to understand mathematics and communicate in your natural language well enough to be able to communicate your ideas you could be a genius and if you don't know how to read and write no one will know that you're a genius do you know how many geniuses are there out there in the world that are homeless walking around the streets and talking to themselves they're brilliant minds but they just didn't have the ability to communicate that brilliance to others that's sort of my take on how we become holistic decentralize decentralize